Welcome back to the program. We do have a guest in studio, the uh, starting goalie for the Wisconsin Badgers women's lacrosse team, Kyle Kanane is here. <laughs> just proud to, I'm just proud to have made the team. I'm yes. just proud to have made... <laughs> Now, welcome, my friend. What's happening, everybody? Good morning. Thanks for coming yeah, in. I know, uh, you. you know, for some people, it's tough getting up early. For some people, not me, given that I'm an athlete and such. Yes, yes. So <laughs> given that I train as a professional athlete. No, when I was talking to Rafe, uh, he's like, hey, man, because uh, I was like, hey, come in at six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't think nah, I'm going to do that I didn't one. even pitch that to him. Yeah, as late as possible. <laughs> I was like, uh, well, let's try to do something after the 8 o'clock hour. <laughs> it's, not even cra it's not even like I'm doing crazy stuff anymore. Like, I I, I was up late because I had a, a veggie burrito with Rafe at some place at, like, nice. 12.30. Party. That, that yeah. was how I got nuts. Like, oh, this broccoli's barely steamed through. <laughs> so Kyle's at a Helium Comedy Club, two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow. Yeah, that thing about about that, that comedy club over there in Brentwood, there's nothing open Nearby. Nearby, late. No, the IHOP was uh, cordoned off. The IHOP they wasn't open? Blocked uh -oh. in, yeah. Wow. It was, it, was a, it was delivery only. They had it blockaded. They had the dining room blockaded with tables. And, uh, oh, there we, oh, we had to plug in our Booyah. bits. Oh. I like to announce things people can't see. Yes. That's why I'm so great radio. at radio. <laughs> Guys, look at Kyle's the headphones that I is. plugged in. <laughs> oh, my God. I've never seen a color like that on a Chevy Fiesta before. And now uh, you can hear things. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a problem with Brentwood, because uh, I'm sure after a rousing comedy set. Yeah, we're, I'm performing underneath a, a Dillard's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who Which says is, you can't make it in stand-up? Yeah. We also, mall. I told him last night, like, I feel like COVID killed, for comedians, this is devastating. COVID killed late-night dining in a lot of cities. We did Philadelphia together last year, and I remember we ate three times in a Wawa. Oh, Because yeah. we were, like, walking around downtown Philly, and we just ended up eating. And Wawa at 3 o'clock in the morning is it's Thunderdome, dude. It's the <laughs> last bastion of, like, what saloons in Old West films felt like. <laughs> there's there's a, a spittoon. Yeah, there's, there's a guy missing fingers playing poker. He's about to miss another one. How many horses another were one? tied, yeah. out, uh, tied yeah. up front? Yeah. Dude, it's wild. Those Wawa's, everybody's just standing around. There's 40 people standing waiting for a... A, a flatbread or yeah, something. Yeah, and they ain't checking. And you're not getting you're not getting the thing you put into the little no. computer. Oh, no. <laughs> People just grabbing food too. Yeah. You can just grab and go. They ain't they're not checking. Yeah, is this a roast beef sandwich? This is a gallon of vinegar. All right, fine. I guess I was next. <laughs> I'll, I'll pay for it. <laughs> yeah, that's one. You 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 put your stuff in the computer, you grab the receipt, you pay for it, you wait for it to be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's like it's like sheets, but not as nice, yeah. right? Well, they started sheets all is that. a little bit nicer. Right, you guys, or you guys are familiar with sheets, right? That's an East Coast throwdown thing where I don't know if I feel brave enough to put my hat in the ring. Oh, I'm gonna have yeah, to yeah. tour somewhere. Look, or you say you like sheets more than Wawa? <laughs> it is, it is, it is. We'll, we'll yeah, but now countries. we got Wally's over here. You got Wally's? What's a Wally's? Wally's. Wally's uh, it's bu shit. it's Bucky's. You are familiar with Bucky's? Okay, we got another rivalry on our hands. Yeah, it's the rival to to, to Bucky's. Now. Okay. It's well, there was a the first Wally's on the way from here to Chicago, right? What's in, in Pontiac, Illinois? Was the first Wally's something like that, and they just put up one in Fenton. They, they got a beef jerky wall down on the Wally's. You like beef jerky? Ooh, beef jerky wall, you say? Oh, a wall. No, they got a bar, a beef jerky bar. Oh. Like you go to the counter, and they have various kinds of beef jerky. <laughs> What's the weirdest one you can get? Some stuff shouldn't be jerky. Uh, do you like human? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh y'all got long pig over at this one. <laughs> <laughs> Are you down with eating human? Because they got that. <laughs> Teriyaki, <laughs> a, a German, a German uh, jerky bar. I, uh, I had what did I have? Alligator jerky? No, crocodile jerky. It was disgusting. It shouldn't have been. Oh uh, yeah, I'm it not shouldn't into, have been. I'm not into exotic meats. No, well, you, don't, you don't want to get weird. <laughs> no, let's not get weird. Let's not get weird. I tried snake once. Nah, uh, you didn't like that, like rattlesnake. I had snake. Yeah. That's did you like good. it? They put it in like they made it like in a sausage with a bunch of spices and everything. So it's like, ah, you can't. You get to say you ate snake, but then you're like, but was then, there anything in there? Like, then ah. you go, why did I eat snake? That was when just a, a Johnsonville brat. Yeah, we just <laughs> we just told you a snake to get you in the door. Knowing you, that felt very appropriate for your tombstone. I ate snake. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I'm mess around with a little snake. The nonchalant way you just said that is uh, sums you up perfectly to me. No, I, I don't. I don't it. need to be adventurous sometimes when it comes to food. I. I used to be. 
I, I, I remember going to a bar in Omaha, and some guy just had a Tupperware on the bar that he brought himself. He was like, you want some? And I just started eating it before asking what it was. <laughs> it turns out it was his rabbit. But, oh, but rabbit out of s- some guy's pocket is different. Then like, oh, look at this fancy French restaurant that's preparing this. Yeah. <laughs> Just some guy like, oh, you ain't eating my tomatoes no more. <laughs> Pocket rabbit's way better. Yeah, yeah. So Pocket rabbit, which I believe is a sex toy. Tupperware? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I'll eat out of another man's Tupperware. I'm confident <laughs> with who I am. I'm confident of who I am as a man. That doesn't skeeve you out? Oh, man, I get so skeeved, you know, thinking about other people's kitchens. Really? I am. I think I'm unskeevable. Yeah. I might be a rape pirate, witness. Dude. Yeah. I, might I mean, they, I, they could, we've talked about roadkill on the show, and then some guy's like, I pick it up and I make sausage. You remember the guy that came down to the gig and That's brought roadkill? Yeah. yeah. He In brought his roadkill jerky to a meet and greet, and I ate it. Really? <laughs> I was like, yeah, give it to me, man. Well, okay, what? It was just like summer sausage in a Ziploc bag. It wasn't clearly... just like summer sausage. I'm going to have to stop you No, there. I'm saying like... <laughs> It was in the Ziploc bag, and it. Yeah. What, what what was the animal? A deer. I, I believe it was a, it was a, it was Raccoon? a live deer. Then I was hit by a Mazda, and then it was summer sausage. Oh, I've had that <laughs> Mazda deer. Deer, yeah, I had a yeah, I had a relative that. I like deer. That's fine, but roadkill. That's tenderized. Yeah, you're that's right. disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're not gonna get buckshot in your mouth. You're gonna be like, oh, that's really lo- that's a, what a. Tender meat. Yeah, you got some gravel, but no. Yeah, yeah, you got to get the outer layer out of there. No, I, I had that. A roadkill. Well, deer. I oh, thought deer. I thought maybe it was like a crow or something. Yeah, no, I should have no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 specified. No, I, I but I also consider... took the guy's word for it. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. consider deer even, even, that's not even exotic anymore. No, no venison is almost. Yeah, standard. It, it's it's Midwestern pretty, standard. It's pretty standard. Mm-hmm. But I'm eating possum or. Squirrel. Squ- no. Mm. I not mean, when there's delicious beef available. What happens when it's not though? You gotta get that squirrel taste no, going we're, now. We're going insects. We're going locusts. You think we're you going... do bugs? You ever do bugs? Mm-hmm. Uh, I've eaten uh, like a cricket. <laughs> yeah, crickets, grasshopper. They put a bunch of seasoning on it. Yeah, yeah, that's all it really... tastes like seasoning. In the future, so you gotta you want to get in that time. seasoning game now. Because that's who's going to be making money hand over yeah. fist when we got to eat all them bugs. Yeah, and that's going to happen. I hope not in my lifetime. Oh, if things get dire enough, this whole planet's going to go, you know what? There's billions and billions and billions of pounds of protein just flying around. We'll just do that. Yeah, have fun. Eat I that. I don't feel bad about killing bugs. Exactly. It's much easier. Yeah. What are you going to do when everything's gone? You going to eat plants? That's not going to be when I'm here. Oh, yeah, it is. We got about 20 more years. You could, so. Oh, yeah. They said, <laughs> they said 20 more don't. years 20 years ago. They keep pushing the goalpost. You yes. get a uh, you get a skillet going right underneath your bug zapper, <laughs> <laughs> so that's the freshest it'll be. It just pops in, starts sizzling. <laughs> you you'll be looking forward to it, man. That's be- something you don't see anymore. The bug zappers. <laughs> no, you're gonna be leaving pools of standing water on your property just to just to entice more right. insects. It's gonna be delicious. Do they even sell those anymore, bug zappers? I think so. In certain yeah. ways, like for like camping or something. Because they like that. do nothing. Like, they do nothing. What, what do you mean, do nothing? My neighbor had one, like, the, the, our, our next-door neighbor had one of those bright yeah. blue ones. I mean, it was Dude, like, a, yeah. like an alien. I think it was a placebo effect thing. Like, you think it's doing stuff. But you would hear the zaps, and then you it, go over, and it looks like a windshield. There are millions of mosquitoes out there. Yeah. Oh, Is it, like, performative? Like, well, it sounds like it's doing Well, thing. yeah, I hear the zzz, zzz, zzz. You think so? Something's happening. I mean, this is like the 80s, but I mean, yeah. it was that big. Is it like this? It looked like a giant light oh, yeah. from the 1800s. Yeah, and it was like a purple light. But yeah, blue, like glowing blue. Like, I mean, it was mesmerizing. Yeah, it looked like Paul Revere had a, <laughs> yeah. had a vendetta <laughs> <laughs> against insects. Yeah. I think I think it would, they kept him up because you knew like the, the one kid in the neighborhood was eventually going to touch it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, that's why. Like, yeah. Ah. Yep. I mean, it doesn't get the bugs, but Terry's going to put, put his, his toe, toe in there. Yeah. <laughs> And that's what we wait for every summer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did toe. nothing. Watch Terry get a little dumber each year. Give me some citronella. <laughs> Give oh, me you, some citronella. You think citronella works? No, nah, I don't think that works either. I remember, there's a place that uses sonic waves. There's this uh, outdoor museum in Arkansas, but they like, use sonic waves to get the bugs away. Interesting. And, I'm like, and I don't know what it's doing to the ecosystem, and I don't care. I hate mosquitoes enough that I will 
Does it work? I will butterfly effect death throughout the insect world. My dad's there are like, birds flying into buildings all over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, it's okay, though. Birds no bites. Aren't, birds aren't real, so it don't matter. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Good uh, point. The, uh, my, my dad was like an outdoorsman. We, he, he would bring these things, these little things you would plug in or you charge up, and apparently they made the sounds of dragonflies. And mosquitoes hate dragonflies because they're the predators or something like that. So really? We, I bought into the, oh, we'll just take this dragonfly sound thing, and that'll keep the mosquitoes away. I have no idea if it worked or not, but that was that was, uh, uh, that's that was what, you were what my family was. They turned bug zappers into, like, tennis rackets for a while, too. Oh, yeah. That was like a, became a sport. <laughs> that was a, I, I have one of those, and that is, um, yeah, that's, I, a good, that's a good time. I have a bug assault gun. What? Where it shoots oh, yeah. salt. Dude. Does that work? Yes, it does. It's fun. It's fun. Just don't miss the bees. You put table salt. No, it's it's if it's a, if there's a bug in the house. I know, but didn't you try to shoot a bee and it came back and stung you? Uh, no, that was not me. Oh, okay. I think that's fair play. Yeah, yeah. If like if you mm -hmm. miss and, and you're a target, you that, deserve it. You, yeah, you started oh, that fight. We talked about that the other day. When was the last time you were stung by a bee? Last summer, and Did then it's been it? like almost my whole life. I don't think I deserved it. I was just out. <laughs> I was like crambling around in some bushes in the yard. I purposelessly, I think. I'm, I'm sure why I was out there. But then I got stung by a bee, and I was like, well, I'll, I'll. Son, of a, son of a bee. Still happens. That wasn't a joke, but. You deserved it. I forgot. Son of a bee. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot bees were around. Like if you, I'm saying that like if you deserve it. Like if you, if you step on it, like mm -hmm. you deserved it. Yeah, most bee stings are deserved. Like if you messed with its, you know, uh, hive. Like you deserved it. Right. Messing yeah. with its food. Messing with it. You I think that's. It. I think I was like, oh, there's a lot of bees over there behind that bush. I should see why there's a bunch of bees back yeah. there. Yeah, and you deserve. And it. then I walked into a bunch of bees. Yeah, they're yeah. like nosy human. Yeah, <laughs> that was. That, yeah, that was entirely. Why did I? Why did I have to go? They're see having it? their bee orgy. Yeah. And here you come walking up. Here comes Kyle Kinane. <laughs> what y'all got going on over here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, bunch of bees. Let me put my. Let me put my nose. They're in all there. having their way with the queen. Right. And mm -hmm. here comes here Kyle. Comes. Terry, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sorry, <laughs> man. They took the bug zappers away. I gotta get my rocks off one I, way or another. I, for the first time last year, got stung by a wasp. Uh, Didn't I thought, deserve it. I, I did not deserve it. Uh, thought I was gonna, for thirty seconds. I thought I was gonna die. Yeah, it sucks. Does it hurt worse oh, than a bee sting? Way worse. Oh yeah. Way worse. Oh, yeah. Wasps will just come after you, and they could sting you multiple times because they don't lose their stingers. Dude, so I they thought they could just be nasty. I was by myself in a field, and I go, "This is it. I'm dead." Yeah. Really? Like I, I thought, like somebody shot me. Did you poof out? Started getting all puffy? No, it, it didn't. It, it hurt like hell. Yeah. I avoid them at all costs, but I feel kind of soft because my grandpa had, like, uh, I don't know what you call them, bee boxes? What are those things called? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. He just like, had a little, he had a few chickens and he had, like, yeah, yeah, they were in the boxes, though. And he literally, he, my, he didn't, my grandpa was like an Lived in a camper, dude. He wasn't getting a beekeeping costume. He just smoked. He just put in. He's like, he just put, he put in like a parliament. And would just, that was his. And he'd blow the smoke into the hive, and then he'd pull it out and scrape the honey out with right. his hands. Like, All he's doing is getting him high. Wow. And I'm like, dude, I'm never gonna be that much of a man that can just like tobacco infused honey. Yeah, yeah. He's just going out. That was his protection. Was a cigarette. He's like, smoke. Yeah, protecting. calms him down. I got a boiler suit and Halloween they get, mask. Yeah, they get lethargic around. Now. They don't like menthol. They That's love. a little hot tip for you. That is what they do, though. It is. They use the smoke. Yeah, but it's steam. They use steam, right? I yeah, know. no, no. It's a, it, I thought it was some some sort of smoke. It's not steam, actually. Uh, I have no is idea. It? Oh, wow. Well, those it's beehives not look, look like filing cabinets. Like yeah. my neighbor has yeah. one. I thought, is he doing filing out in his yard? And sure enough, they're out there with their bee costumes and the steam or the smoke. And that's awesome. It is cool. Wow. Now, for a second time, I realized that's when I got messed up by bees. Before, I was on a, I was on a mountain bike ride up in some hills, and I saw those boxes. I was like, those look like bee boxes. And then I rode my bike over to them. Oh, no. <laughs> to confirm that they were bee boxes. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's a bunch of bees. They're bee boxes. <laughs> that guy I was on a bike, I got to ride pretty fast out of there. And I'm like, what if that's full of bees? And then that was all. That was the second time. I was like, oh, what if that's full of bees? And I went over to it. And this is up in, uh, in Oregon? That was in California when California. I was up. But they were also like in the middle of nowhere. Like yeah. All of a sudden, these boxes were just stacked up. On a mountainside. Yeah, you moved up to where you live in Portland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Live in Portland. You yeah, were you. There. So you went from you were in a suburb of Chicago, right? Yeah, right? grew up in Chicago, <clears throat> moved to L.A. Now, now I live in Oregon. Yeah. Why the move to Oregon? Well, it was just I mean, it was COVID and everything got real expensive and I don't know. I don't really do a lot of showbiz stuff anymore. I just tell jokes. Mm. So 
It's like, well, I could live in a city where I could afford to live. And yeah. Tell well, these jokes. <laughs> if people don't know, like Kyle was the voice of Comedy Central for how long? Ten I years? was. I did almost ten years. Yeah. That's so cool. <clears throat> yeah, it was a it was a real. If I felt like a bank robber, like that's how easy that job was. Like, hey, South Park's at seven thirty, and then that, I'd be done for the day. That was my. <laughs> and it, South Park was always on at seven thirty, but they kept coming, having me come in. Say it again. I'm like, people know when it's on. Then I'm like, shut up, Kyle. They're paying you to say it again. So you say it again. I don't do South Park. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't know how Cash many times I'm going to do this. No, you got a great voice for it. And I, and I do recognize your voice now from, mm -hmm. from the spots. I mean, Thank you. I thought, awesome. I thought it was going to like blow up into this career of like, well, I'm probably going to get a bunch of car ads, but there's still too much Chicago or something. And they're like, try the all new Nissan Altima. I don't hear right in Chicago. Okay, no, it's not in there. Train it's not, the Nissan Altima, yeah. the greatest car in the Chicago <laughs> land area. This is going to get you from O'Hare to Midway <laughs> 22, 23 minutes faster than normal. Uh, no, I, I never, Not it's not like a very strong accent, but I never could get radio ad. Like, the. it's either the pleasant, like, like Paxil. Calm ah. down. You might have diarrhea. Like that kind of, like, <laughs> Medical, like prescription ad yeah, yeah. stuff, I couldn't do. Could you pick up a Chicago accent there? No, I, mm -hmm. I mean, and I went to school at ISU, and I, I mean, so half my <laughs> friends were from Chicago, <laughs> but you don't got that. No, it, it would just come out in the A's once in a while. They're like, mm -hmm. can you like make the A's less of an A? I'm like, I don't know what you're talking. About. Oh, would that be? Would that be an instruction? It was like, that's that how like that's how minute they would get with it. Because I don't think I have an accent, but they'd be like, just turn it down. A little. Oh, really? Like, so, so you turn do it down. So, so you, was it? You go to a studio once a week, twice a week. I would go two or three times a week. I would take a little rig on the road with me. I'd have, I'd have like the hotel blanket over a desk to make a little soundproof studio. Yeah. So half of those ads, half of me telling you when South Park was on, I was like hunched over in Hampton <laughs> Inn, just looking at toenail clippings under a desk. I'm like, they're still paying you well, so you deal with it. You deal with it because they're paying you well. The guy telling me it made me Park Hampton Inn money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that a Hampton Inn clipping his toenails, huh? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> as, as, as a frugal guy, what can I say? Yeah, yeah. So was it something you just auditioned? Did you want to be a voiceover guy? No, they had Did me. somebody tell you, you got a great voice? I think I was I was doing stand-up, and uh, they're like, oh, do you want to come in and try this? At the time, I think it was uh, Penn Gillette from Penn & Teller was the guy. Uh-huh. And I went in and... Did, like, did a couple reads. and like, that's great. You want to come back next week and do it? I'm like, yeah, yeah, come back. Sure, why not? And then it, it, I was never hired. I just was doing it. And then I'm did, like, oh, isn't there, what is Did they pay you for it? Well, <laughs> then, then they're like, all right, well, here's, here's what we'll pay for, like, it'll be like monthly or something. It was never a contract. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I started to get paid, but I'm like, oh, what about the other guy? And then I'm like, well, the other guy's Penn Gillette. I think he's all right. Yeah. You know, I don't want to be nabbing somebody's job. Yeah. But so then I just... Then it became regular, and I became the only, except for like the Daily Show, they had a very news announcer or something. Yeah, yeah. And <clears throat> for 10 years, I started doing that. And then in about 10 years, all of a sudden, I had some stand up friends like, hey, you still doing the Comedy Central voiceovers? I'm like, yeah, yeah, why? But they're like, well, because I just went in and did some. And I was like, one oh, of your buddies? This is how unceremoniously <laughs> I lost the job, oh, was wow, just as right. unceremonious as I got it. It was just like, wow. They just threaded somebody in. And stop calling me. And I was like, oh, I guess. Do I not work here anymore? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> really, like, Are there bees in there? Yeah, showbiz. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. Showbiz. <laughs> showbiz. Yeah, and, but it's my pal David Borey, who's great, yeah. who got the job. So I'm like, I can't be mad. Like, I had it for 10 years. It wasn't something I was looking for. I had that for 10 years. So and nobody ever, went to my friends. So, so nobody ever was like, hey, uh, Kyle, you know, we, uh, great work for the past 10 years. Nope. We love you, but wow. nope. wow, I decided to go in a new direction. Nope. Which no is, cake, like, no card in the break room. No. Well, it, it, look, good thing I didn't, like, make purchases based on my income. Right. <laughs> where yeah. you could be like, well, I have this job. You didn't get your 10-year watch or I something? Didn't get, <laughs> I, I had to ask. I'm like, just, I just want to make sure I don't do this anymore, right? <laughs> For you guys, because like, <laughs> I have some recording equipment that I don't know. Should I pawn this off yeah, or yeah. Might you need this? Re return it? Or you can take it out of my check. Wow! But it, but it went to a friend, so I was like, "Well, that's cool. That guy, he's a, David Bohr is a good dude." And it was like one of those things, like, "Oh, you're like kind of a newer up and coming comic, and then you're going to get this gig. That's great for you." So right. that like eased the. Yeah. Until he says, the yeah, ball. they gave me this incredible eight-year contract. I got a company <laughs> car. <laughs> in advance. I got, <laughs> like, yeah. wait, wait, what? 
And he sounds like me, too. Well, you got a new YouTube special. It's called uh, a little Shocks bit. and Struts. Mm -hmm. Shocks and Struts, which, uh, which I, I actually watched yesterday. Rafe and I started watching it yesterday. I finished it out at home. Excellent. Congratulations. Thank you. It's amazing. Uh, and, and the scene start, the, the special starts, I guess you drive into Dubai conversion van. Yeah, I bought a, somebody else had built out a van. And uh, so I bought that off him at the beginning of the pandemic. So I was like, I don't know if we can fly airplanes ever again or do comedy indoors. So I guess I'll just get this van and go. Buy the van and just go see the country. Huh? Roll up to wherever I got to go and do jokes for people. That's, That's cool. Moon's dream. Just to, yeah. Just yeah, to go, man. Just I get, do. get a van and go. You want to buy a van? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. Hey, he would. All right. Is there an Oregon to Missouri delivery in this? Because, uh... Yeah, there's me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys meet halfway. You would yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. Kyle is also an avid... Uh, is mountain biking the proper term, or am I, is that a rube way of saying it? No, no, no. I like I like to ride bikes, and I like to drive, you got peg, drive sweet pegs on the back. No, man, yeah. this, is a, this is a real machine. Uh, actually, I was <laughs> last Sunday. I was on a uh, BMX bike. I have no children. I was at the BMX park as a forty-six-year-old man. That's awesome. Did you bring your bike to St. Louis? Uh, no, no. I uh, well, we could fly now. So oh, okay. Like, well, you no, didn't bike here, learn. No, I, I got drive. a good bike park for you if you wanted to go uh, dirt biking later. It's fun. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. He does oh, Castlewood. Uh, no, it's uh, it's right off of Ellisville and the Old State Route. Um, God, what is that park? Uh, Bluffview uh, Park. The Old Dairy Queen. Bluffview Park. Man, I went mountain park. biking with a buddy once. I hit a tree root. I went over my, my hand, the handlebars, and that yeah. was Never it. Again. That was it for me. Mm -hmm. Never again. Almost fell off a cliff. I'm like this is it. I'm I not did. meant for this. I was on a pleasant bike ride with my girlfriend last week, and I this is I don't know why I, I'm not coordinated. I'm not strong, and I'm a small man. And I'm prone to bees stings. <laughs> Yet I still force these things on myself. And then I was on just a normal, regular bike ride on like a paved bike path. And that's when I crashed last week. Oh, no. Because I was trying to fix something on the bag on my handlebars. I'm like, well, I got to pull this strap tighter. The bag's attached to the handlebars. So I just pulled this strap and pulled my handlebars <laughs> oh, 90 my degrees to the right. Oh, no. And just went into blackberry bushes, which are thorn-covered yeah. bushes. Which filled with bees. Yeah, well, filled with bees. <laughs> I, I may as well have been because I just laid on these thorns and then I could I was just stuck there. I couldn't put my hands down to put myself up. Now, with the first words, <laughs> help me. <laughs> I started laughing because I realized I didn't break anything. Yeah, but of course, like we're in. You know, this is rural Oregon. We don't see anything. But, of course, as soon as I crash, there's, like, four Mormons standing over me. <laughs> like, oh, geez, buddy. Oh, how could we help him? Like, you could just leave me and my bruised ego alone and uh. just go on your way. But, like, we'll pull you out of there. I'm like, don't pull on anything. It's like a death by a thousand cuts right now. But... Yeah, so mountain biking isn't safe for me whatsoever. Yeah, but do you do, do the off-road, like, the off-road stuff? Yeah, yeah, I do all the time. He goes stuff. hard, dude. I do all Some all of the, the videos stuff. he posts are, like, GoPro coming down a mountain at high rates of speed going into tight like it's awesome i want i had been hitting him up trying to i was like man i kind of think am i too old just be honest with me Never. is this is this a thing that i'm too old to start and he was kind enough to be like probably but you should do it anyway <laughs> <laughs> and then they're, they're real machines though like those bikes yeah, no, are, those, bikes aren't, too. those bikes aren't huffies yeah i've got, got, I mean? I've got oh, like, like a, carbon yeah. fiber and, i've got like a cheap middle one and yeah. it was like <laughs> Seventeen hundred bucks. Oh yeah, yeah. the sticker oh, yeah. shock hurt me. And yeah, they're cheap. lightweight. They're the tires, you know, uh, mm -hmm. change out real quick with the yeah. Turn it's, of a nice, it's a nice way to go out to the woods to hang out with dentists because that's who can afford that. <laughs> <sport>. <laughs> All right, Kyle Canaan's here. We got to take a break. We'll come back, and if you guys are on hold, stand hold. We'll play just the two of us next. Welcome back to the program. Kyle Canaan is here. See him at Helium Comedy Club tonight. Two shows. He's got a seven thirty and a ten o'clock. Uh, both nights, Rafe Williams will be the opener. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> just uh, <laughs> just doing my research, Kyle, and <laughs> there was an article about you. Is oh, yeah. Kyle Kinane a prick? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that was the, Worthwhile. That was the title of the article. hitting journalism. <laughs> Is he a prick? Well, am I? Come to find out, not a prick. How about that? Oh, <laughs> you don't know me. I was going to say, I don't nice the vibes. In the, in the half hour we've hung out, I don't think so. No. Rafe will vouch for you. Yeah, I like him. <laughs> Salty, but... Uh, Give me about five years. That's when I, I earn your trust, and then I really turn into a, a lousy friend. Ah. It's a long grift. It. Ah. All right, let's give away some stuff. All right, so we're going to play just the two of us. 
So here's the game. And, and Kyle's, Kyle is the constant, so Kyle's going to play every round here. So you guys on the phone will pick a ratio member. Rafe, King Scott, Learn, Moon, or myself. So Rafe's going to ask five questions. We're, we're going to write our answers down. Okay. And don't say them out loud. Write your okay. answer down. If we match three of our five answers, the listener on the phone will win their choice of prizes. Okay. Oh, oh man, we got prizes. We've got tickets to go see the Struts. We've got tickets to go see Fall Out Boy. We've got tickets mm. to go see 311, and we got tickets to go see Queens of the Stone Age. Okay. Do any of those bands do anything for you? I think I did it. I may have done it, or I met Fall Out Boy. At a, I used to be in a band in Chicago in the 90s, and I think we crossed paths with those boys. What you kind were of in band? Chicago. He was in Chicago. In the band Chicago. He was actually <laughs> in the band <laughs> Chicago. I was in, in the 90s, yeah, played the trumpet in That's Chicago. Awesome. 25 or Foster. 6 to 4. I still don't know what it means. We just, yeah, yeah I, was, I, was, I was on the trombone. <laughs> they didn't tell me what the songs were about. Uh, oh, you were in a band, huh? You, yeah, we weren't good. Punk you, band? You yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like bass. But okay. so, like, yeah, those bands, those came, Followed Boy came from that place. Yes, that's right. In that's the right. early days. Anyway, I'll root for them, for okay. those young fellas. Oh, I gotta know the band name. What was the band? Oh, uh, we were called the Grand Marquis. And we didn't know how to, we could, two of us drove Grand Marquis. Love it. <laughs> but we didn't know how to pluralize it, so we couldn't make merch. Because it's French, and we didn't know how to. <laughs> you're like the Grand Marquis. You're like, no, it's the Grand Marquis, and we're like, this is what are we doing? But why don't you spell it Mark M A R K K E Y S? We went through every. We're like, really but it looks cool corner, with the huh? U I S. Yeah. It looks cool with the Q. Bands don't have a Q in their name a lot. Well, you got to put the dots over. Yeah. The dots over. You know, umlauts oh, over. Oh, yeah, the, the Motley Crew. The Motley Crew thing. Yeah, that looks cool. What's, Drinking low and bros. What's Lohenbrows. the track I'm after? We had our day. Easy to be the devil? That's not. That's not the that, right Grand Marquis? God darn. Yeah, we're, you're not going to find your name. You're not going to find it. Did you record? He might, dude. We spent a lot of money on a demo, and then it, we broke up. Oh, Dang. dude, not far. Your your nemesis Grand Marquis uh, are from Kansas City. Uh, How do they spell it? You need to see those guys. U-I-S. So they're the Grand Marquis. Mm-hmm. Ah. By rights. Hence, our dilemma. Yeah. Was making sure. You really backed it. yourself into a corner on that Yeah, one. you know. Are we ever going to get the band back together? Let's get the band back together. We played We played a couple years ago. Sounded great. <laughs> <laughs> right on. I love it, man. All right, 314-624-3833 or 618-398-3833. Let's go to Rich in Owensville. Good morning, Rich. Morning. Happy right. birthday, Riz. Thanks, buddy. Uh, it's not really my birthday. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you got excited. It's, I'll tell you after the I show. I felt so rude. I'll tell you after the show. Uh, all right, Rich, pick a, a Rich show member. I'm going to go with Rafe. All right, Rafe. So it's going to be Rafe and oh. Kyle playing just the two of us. Okay. Hang on, Rich. Okay, I'm going to put Rich down there. And here we go. All right, we got to kill this man. Kyle, Rafe, just the two of us. Here we go. Number one. Coolest non-motorized means of transportation. You guys don't match on this. Coolest non-motorized means of transportation. Number two, a phrase that begins with the word double. Number three, something a radio DJ might accidentally do if they did not know they were on the air. Number four, name something you close at nighttime. And number five, something that chili may come with or without. I think you got this. This is a yeah. slam dunk. Yeah, this is an easy one. Gosh. This is a slam dunk. We spend a lot of time together on the road sometimes. I'll be really embarrassed <laughs> if we don't get close. You guys don't go four for five. Just, <clears throat> just get out. Do we right, have a so, patient zero? Uh, we have no patient zero today. All right. So so Rafe's going to read the question. Moon's going to count uh, three, two, one. And then you guys will say your answer at the same exact time. Okay. Okay, we'll see if you match three of the five for Rich, who is uh, playing for fabulous prizes. Here we go. Rich, I hope we do you right, buddy. Yeah. All right, number one, coolest non-motorized means of transportation. Three, two, one. Bicycle. Yes. Yeah. I have not yeah. bike. 
specifically. Bike, oh, okay. bicycle. That works. Bike and bicycle. We're counting it. All right. One for one. Boom. A phrase that begins with the word double. Three, two, one. Double please. trouble. Huh? Please. I want like double, please. Like I want a double. I want a double, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought double trouble. I thought yeah, double I thought trouble. 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 Double I'm trouble. trying to resist doing joke answers because I want my man to get prizes. So the, 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 the rest of them we you got. You have two got. comedians here. You can joke. Maybe your joke. Nah, but I want him to win the, th the double, stuff. Double, please. Yeah, double, like, please. we have to double, talk please? about your drinking. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know the the common phrase double, double please. please. At least I'm a polite drunk. <laughs> That's true. All right, one for two. Number three. Something a radio DJ might accidentally do if they did not know they were on the air. Three, two, one. Curse. Swear. Yeah. Ah, yeah. All right, all right. That's Curse what I had to swear, too. yes. Yeah. Yep. All right. One more. Uh, number four, name something you close at nighttime. Three, two, one. The Blinds. family store. The oh, family, family store. <laughs> I almost put store. Like that were both good answers. I did good answers. I, I didn't know what to put. I put door. I had door. I put windows. All of a oh sudden, I was an ethnic child. The, the family, family store. The family store. Yeah. Now I feel bad that I didn't. Well, okay. Well, no, we got one no, more. Down to this. Down to this. Right, this. this. You can do it. I think we're going to get this one. All right. Something that chili may come with or without. Three, two, one. Onions. Oh, oh. Thought it was meat. It was beans. I beans. I thought it was cheese. meat. I thought it was cheese. I had cheese. No, it's I beans. beans. Wow. Number one answer. Beans. Onions. Sorry. It was, what is it? It was, the answer is beans. No one would have said onions. Sorry, Rich. Yeah. It's Rich. okay. That's all right. That was his first time. That's all right. Sorry, with or without beans. Of course, that's There's the a phrase. Yeah. I only uh, double the beans. Number one answer for number <laughs> one beans. was bike, would have accepted skateboard. Number two, number one answer was double trouble, would have accepted double dragon or double dare. Double dare. Okay. Oh. Number three, cursing, cussing, swearing, lonely answers. Number four, blinds, curtains, and or family store was the second answer. <laughs> or just a store, you know. Working it was very specific. Uh, and then uh, number five, the correct answer was onions. Wrong. Get I'm out so of here. That's right now. Right. Sorry to tell you guys. So uh, Josh, dude. Josh, pick a rich show member. Good morning, everybody. Happy birthday, Kyle. Um, we'll do Thank a little you. redemption race. You get, guys get it back. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like it. They like it. All right. Huh. All right. <laughs> We're going to do it, man. I don't like this pressure this early wow. in the morning. I got this, dude. Also, happy birthday, everybody. <laughs> Slam that coffee. All right. Number one. Something about a person that might be described as funky. Something about a person that could be described as funky. Number two. Beverage you only drink at Christmas. Number three. Something that smell something that smells really bad when it's on fire. Number four, an animal that you can only ride at the circus. And number five, a talk show host who many people respect. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, come on now. I feel good about this one, this. dude. I feel like we were making I better eye contact. You should have that. this right. easily. You guys got this. Oh, we were supposed to make eye contact? I was supposed to, I was supposed to be secretive. <laughs> oh, no, I was just, I was staring into your soul, dude. You guys okay. got this. We got this. We got this. All right, okay. All right, the first here we one go. Redemption think. time. Something about a person that might be described as funky. Three, two, one. Odor. Breath. Oh. oh. Smell. I just put yeah, smell. smell. Smell is the uh, right one. Breath and odor. Are we going to count it? No. 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 All right. Well, Both yeah. things smell, though. Both Breath. things are funky. I wrote smell. armpits. Which All right. smell? <laughs> I, I would argue with well, Steve Was it Harvey, the thing that's funky or is it the origin of the thing that's funky? Because odor could be somebody's breath. I agree. Right. All right. <laughs> I'm trying. Sorry. I was trying. It's his birthday. He decides. Number two, a beverage you only drink at Christmas. Three, two, one. Eggnog. Eggnog. Yeah. Nog. Nog. General nog. nog. Just a general nog. General Any, nog. Can you, you like make nog, nog out of bean something else? Nog. Yeah, some bean nog. Yeah, why I not? I love eggnog. I'm a fan. For the vegans That's out gross, there. Yeah. Yeah. Nice gross. hot cup of <laughs> bean <laughs> nog. My lentil <laughs> nog. <laughs> All right, number three, we're back on track. Something that smells really bad when it's on fire. Three, two, one. Rubber. Oh. Oh. Hair 
was the answer, Harris buddy. Is answer. I put I rubber. Tires. I, I put rubber. I thought it was the elderly. Rubber. Both, uh, both <laughs> those were the numbers. Somebody one said the elderly. Yeah. <laughs> the elderly. <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst. Did I hear that? Yeah, yeah. yeah you said that. I'm hidden in the booth over here. All right. I'm like, that's not just me, right? It's happening again. Your conscience is becoming far louder than usual. Did you say it's happening again? <laughs> it's happening again. Burn the olds. Uh, no, the no. Old. Uh, you got to sweep out here. <laughs> We're good. We got this. An animal you can only ride at the circus. Three, two, one. Elephant. elephant. Oh. I put camel. Camel. I put yes. camel. I was almost. An elephant. All right. Dolphin yeah. is the answer. Uh, comes down to this. Oh, we got to have man. this. Did I you know say my dolphin boy. Is I know where answer. you're from. No, I said I know. elephant is the answer. Oh. Right. Here we go. A talk show host who many people respect. Three, two, one. Oprah. Oprah. Oh, yeah. my God. Where you I, go, I put Alice Trebek thinking game show host, but you said talk, talk show host. Talk show host. I put Letterman, which I don't think is the right answer at all. That's now not a bad answer. Late night talk show host. Yeah. yeah. I almost put Phil Donahue because I'm 46 years yes, old. Yes, Phil Donahue. <laughs> and I don't know what the... Sally Jesse Raphael. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, uh, we broke the curse. Yep. Kyle, hey. Hmm. Nice job, man. Can you hear me, Kyle? Oh. Yep. Hey, buddy. Okay, uh, pick a ritual member. I'm going to go with you. Oh, okay. Oh, All right. Okay. Uh, Happy birthday, Kyle. Kyle. Plan for Kyle. Happy Welcome birthday. back to our game show, A Tale of Two Kyles. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. All right, number one, boys. Something you need if you wanted to dress as a vampire for Halloween. Something you would need if you wanted to dress as a vampire for Halloween. Okay. Number two, place you need to be a member in order to enter. Say it again. Place that you need to be a member mm. in order to enter. Hmm. Number three, a bad job for someone who is afraid of heights. Okay. Number four, a famous sitcom brother. Oh. That's a hard one. Um, there's a right answer. There's a, no, there's a lot of right I'm trying answers. To, You're right. There's a couple, but there's one definitive okay. right answer. Number five, a game played in a swimming pool. Oh, you guys got this. Come on, man. Come on. There's so, there's okay. so many... There's so many layups in okay. there. Okay. There's, 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 well, there's two of them. You think if so. If you're a certain age, number four them. is a layup as well. And Riz will be 45 in August. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? 46. Okay. I think that's why I was like, I'm showing my age on this one. Okay. Here we go. Moon count it down. <laughs> okay. All right. Something you'd need if you wanted to dress as a vampire for Halloween. Three, two, one. Fangs. fangs. Oh. I'm sorry. Wow. To tell Those were the two right answers. Those are the two right answers. Cape and fangs. That's what I had written down. Because they don't always have the fangs, but they're always wearing But the they're cape. vampires. They always have fangs. Yeah, Not they when don't in come the daylight. Out. He's you know? actually cape. Sometimes they're just hanging always out cape, in cape. Sometimes fangs. What? They don't always have a cape. I yeah, they that. shower in capes. They do. <laughs> You ever see a vampire energy. swimming at night? It's just a cape. Some twilight? <laughs> energy but suckers. If, if don't it's Halloween yeah. and I got a cape and no fangs, I could be anything. I could yeah. be a dark superhero. I could be anything. You're a vampire, man. Never mind a cape. Now I got fangs. fangs. What am I? A vamp okay. vampire. Okay, but if you just have fangs and no cape, you might be like a kind of a werewolf. Yeah, or a yeah. hot guy. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's, yeah. that's or just a, a dude, yeah. Or that's a fair just point. a mysterious man. Or a guy man. that loves KMFDM. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God, okay. KMFDM. Wow. Fair points. Yeah, that's the dude cuts. I met at the Skinny Puppy concert. <laughs> Deep cuts. Here right. we go. <laughs> Bringing it back. You guys can come back. Starts now. Place. You need to be a member in order to enter. Three, two, one. Golf country club. club. Yep. Yeah, Same right? Let's count it. Let's count it. Count it. Count it. Count count it. Count 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 golf and country club. Costco was the number one answer. Um, <laughs> wow. I forgot about number three, a bad job for someone who is afraid of heights. Three, two, one. Ladder window salesman. washer. I had window washer, you know too. Uh, I had that, and then I put pilot. Window Ladder washer, salesman. number one answer. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> he says stuff that is not a normal person's brain. What did you brain. say, ladder? Ladder salesman. What I are you talking about? I like that. When I saw you this Good ladder, career. if I didn't believe in it, here it goes. Uh, uh, I've been at the top of every one of these. Uh, it's, actually, it's actually a great answer. He's screaming. He couldn't get past the third run. We didn't make any money today. He's out there in the parking lot you know, demoing we, these things. We had a discussion earlier this week about ladders. <laughs> so if you if you uh, if you just carry a ladder everywhere with you, yeah, you could get into any place. That's true it's a pass 
Why not, why not go with the clipboard? It's so much easier to get in yeah, and out of the clipboard. car. They're onto it. That's They're what onto I said. It. Everybody knows my clipboards. <laughs> If you, you get two have, people in with a ladder, if you if you just carry like a six foot ladder with you everywhere you go, concerts wherever, you're you're getting con killers. Concerts. Yeah, <laughs> you throw a cape and fangs on top of it because you just look yeah. like a, a vampire that's trying to find a place to hang up and sleep. Yeah, you're getting in anywhere. <laughs> Okay, next one. We need to sweep out. Window here. washer was a correct answer. And to put that in context, he once answered when a job or occupation starting with an S, he said samurai. So, so that's you get those answers from him occasionally. It happens. <laughs> that's such a wide berth of ideas that samurai Where, is a fun what, one to What throw place in did ladder salesmen come in? All right. In as as uh, it was about 21st. I want to change my answer later. That's a good one. All right. This number the, four. This, this is the one. Your age is going to show or it's not. Yeah. Let's find out. A famous sitcom brother. Three, two, one. Bart Willis. Simpson. Oh, Willis. Oh. You know what I said? Daryl. This is my brother, Daryl. This is my other brother, Oh, Darryl. from oh. New Heart. Both brothers. That guy just showed up in a movie I was watching. Sorry, Kyle. I thought we were, what, what are we talking about? Willis. Because the main guy was Gary Coleman, but. Yep. Tom Bridges? What Bart did you Simpson say? was Bart Willis. Simpson was the number one answer. Oh, Bart Simpson. Yeah, yeah. That makes more sense than That Darryl. was the number one answer. Willis Does is a good one. Daryl's good, too. Willis Same is a good time. one. Nobody's going to say Daryl. That's a new heart. Oh, it's, yeah. But it's two brothers that's named Daryl. That's what I'm saying. Like, come on, man. That's, that's true. Who's the joke is heart. the brother's name. That's You're double, looking for a That's double name. trouble is what that is. That's <laughs> right. Call back. <laughs> All right. Fine. Just for ego. A game played in a swimming pool. Three, two, one. Marco Polo. Yes. That count as two? Uh, let's go. We'll do one more round. Okay. Would have accepted chicken. Uh, one more round. Uh, learn. Pick four, five, or six. Two, uh, four, five, or six. <laughs> two. <laughs> I'm going six. Six. Terry. Hello. Hey. Uh, Hi. All right. Pick somebody. Okay. I think King Scott is the energy that we need for this. Oh okay. yeah. 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 Like his name is Scott. That. Little yeah. King Scott energy. All right, Kyle and King Scott, here we go. All right, Kyle, you're matching up with the disembodied voice from inside the booth. <laughs> Number one, name an object considered to be good luck. Number two, a cartoon pet that is smarter than its owner. Number three, name a famous United States desert. Number four, name something that comes in a carton. Number five, complete this phrase, holy blank. Say it again, sorry. Complete this phrase, holy blank. In a radio, radio safe. Radio in safe. A radio no. safe. Radio way. safe. What, way. No, number two is the pet that's smarter. Cartoon than pet that is smarter than its owner. Any other repeats, fellas? I think I'm good. All right, King Scott's giving me the green light. Kyle, you good? Uh, Benane's still scribbling. Second guessing his guesses. Yeah. Ladder salesman, you can't use that twice. <laughs> I can't. Man. Good? I hate being the one that's screwing these things up. No, you're not doing that at it's all. It's the worst okay. birthday ever. <laughs> Riz loves not giving people tickets. Yeah. So don't worry about it. That's <laughs> how we get to go to shows. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's see how they did. Number one, name an object considered to be good luck. Three, two, one. Rabbit Horseshoe. Foot. Oh, oh man. Both good answers. Yeah, we both. talked about rabbits. So rabbits. Uh, rabbits wow. foot and horseshoe, yeah. both the number one and two answer. I would have accepted four leaf clover. Yeah. All right, number two. Terrible start, fella. Sorry, oh, sorry. for one. I thought that was going to be a dunk. Uh, number two, cartoon pet that is smarter than its owner. Three, two, one. Scooby. Tom and Jerry. Oh, man, I was thinking Brian from uh, Family Guy. Oh, yeah. uh, I was going to say Scooby-Doo, too, but then he's not smart, and I didn't remember which one was yeah, the cat Scooby from Tom smart. and Jerry. Well, he's smarter than, you know, Scooby. Tom. Shaggy? Number yeah. one answer. Uh, was the dog Garfield? from Inspector Gadget? Garfield. Number Garfield. two answer, Snoopy. Number three answer, Brian from Family Guy. Uh, ah, guys, you sorry. Need to, you need okay, to we got this. We got here, this. Guys. Woo! All right, All right okay. we got it. All right, here we go. Name a famous United States desert. Three, two, one. Death Mojave. Valley. I had Mojave. Death Valley is in the Mojave. Yeah. Let's count it. What do we do for that? Death Valley it's is ambiguous. in the Mojave Desert. But is Death Valley a desert? It is a part is of a the location Mojave. In, within I think it's a location Mojave. within a yeah. desert. So, so I did have Mojave first, and then I switched to Death Valley. Uh, no. Saying no. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. If you guys go over, 
All right, fine. If, if you they go, go over, over it, Terry wins. We'll okay. give Terry Sorry, the Terry. Okay, Terry, hang on. <laughs> this is going to be a big one. Name something that comes in a carton. Three, two, one. Eggs. Milks. Whoa, what All right. Eggs? Eggs, eggs and, and, and milk. Eggs. Terry, right. it's looking good. Right. I was going to say, Terry. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, number oh. one Nobody answer. Nobody said cigarettes. <laughs> uh, cigarettes was oh, yeah. top three. Eggs, milk, cigarettes. Those were the top three answers. And number five. For the win, if they biff it. For Terry. <laughs> Complete this phrase. Holy blank. Three, two, one. Cow. Holy smokes. Good. Oh, yeah. 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 Nice. Holy cow was the number one answer. <laughs> you guys are terrible at this game. Yeah. 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 That's my boy right Holy there. smokes, acceptable. Holy cannoli would have been accepted on the base of it being funny and rhyming. Uh, holy moly. Schnikes. Holy yeah. crap. Uh, all right, we're going to yeah, take one crap. final break. Wow. We'll come back and wrap her up. Well, All right, that is it for us. Donnie Fandango is next. First off, I want to thank uh, Mr. Kyle Kinane for coming in yeah, hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Helium Comedy Club, 7 30, 10 o'clock tonight and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Let's uh let's sell these bitches out. Let's sell these bitches let's out. Let's sell it out. Let's sell it out. Shocks and Struts is the name of your uh, your new uh, YouTube special yeah. available everywhere. Yeah, for free even. For free. Even on your on your phone, on your TV. Nice. Yeah. Check on your out. work computer. Yeah, check out his special. Come see him. He's the best working comic working today. He hates when I say stuff like yeah, this in front of him, but he is, and I ain't no slouch, so come out. Yeah. yeah Rave's been saying that, man. Get I'm, on out I'm, of I don't here. I don't believe Rave. you. And <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks for coming in. I appreciate you. Thanks for having me, everybody. And, uh, and playing our little games with us.